So this is uh, Integral's volume of revolution question. Uh, a bit different to usual because we actually have two different functions. So we're going to have to do it the same way we, where we split areas. We're going to have to find one volume of revolution from here to here and then another volume of revolution from there to there and add them together. Clearly to make the egg the only way we can revolve it is around the x-axis. Normally we've been told that but this time we haven't. So I know that for an x-axis volume of revolution it would be pi a to b y squared dx. That's my standard setup where a and b are x values and y squared also becomes an x value and everything needs to be in terms of x to do this. So v1 equals pi from minus 2 to 0 of if I rearrange my first equation, calling this one the 1 here, y squared would be 4 minus x squared. So at least they've made that bit nice and easy for us to build. And v2 I'll do on this side, which will be a little bit trickier to find y squared if I have x squared on 9 plus y squared on 4 equals 1. y squared on 4 would equal 1 minus x squared on 9. So y squared would equal 4 minus 4x squared on 9 for this one. So pi times the integral from 0 to 2 of 4 minus 4x squared on 9 dx. This one, pi, integrate this as 4x minus x cubed on 3 minus 2 to 0, which then moving up will be pi lots of, well that's all going to be 0 for the first bit, minus, 4 by minus 2 is minus 8, minus neg 2 cubed is 8, neg 8 with a negative there, so plus 8 on 3. That's my first one, equals pi, negate these guys, so 8 minus 8 on 3 equals uh, 8 minus 8 on 3, 16 on 3, so 16 pi on 3. Over here, repeat same process, pi 4x minus 4x cubed on 27 this time, when I divide that by 3 as well, 0 to 2 equals pi, 4 2 is 8 minus 4 by 2 cubed, so 4 eighths are 32 on 27 minus, well, I'll put zeros in, you'll still get 0, equals 8 minus 32 on 27, 184 on 27, so 184 pi on 27, so my volume total equals 16 on 3 plus 1 4 on 27 pi equals 3 oh can't see me 3 28 pi on 27